consistently warm weather so they can really perform their best. And it's really hard to do because I think a lot of folks have spring fever. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and that's certainly understandable. But uh, the folks at the nursery say, you know, they're as busy as they can be and they like that. But at the same time, they said, you know, hold on a second, especially with those annuals. Give them some chance, give the weather some chance to warm up. There are, of course, some things you can plant right now. They say things like trees, shrubs, perennials, uh, even some of those cold weather crops like cabbage, broccoli. Those things are just fine right now and they'll survive even if we have some chilly nights. What more will we have for us at six? Uh, we're going to go a little deeper into this. We're going to show you exactly uh, you know, how these plants survive in the course of the cold. Uh, and of course, we'll eat. We're also going to tell you a little bit about how best to go about protecting those plants. If you do choose to plant them early, how best to protect them from frost. We want the tips. We want the tips. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate and now to see this information again and for more Green Living stories, we've got a lot of them, just head on over to our website at the WTHITV.com. From the main page, just click on the Green Living tab and you'll be there. Well, today we're hanging in the 60s, tomorrow we're climbing in the 70s, and it sounds like our sunshine will be sticking around too. And speaking of the sunshine, do you expect it, David, to stick around for the rest of the week? I need the scoop. Yes, right, Suzanne. I do believe we will see it most of this.